Today, we're in Shawnee, Oklahoma, where they've got some eagles, hawks, even hummingbirds. He's going to do what we call rousing. It means he's very happy right now, so he must like you too. Why have you, you never roused for me? Sorry. Look at that. Wow. So oh. we're here. And action hummingbirds. Go on, son. Oh, oh look at that. whoa. He's just it's not happy about it. Die from this. That was wicked. I really like filming just animals at work. It's just the best subject for me to film. It's always stressful, though, because you never know if a bird's going to perform. You can't exactly tell an animal to do something and expect it to do it. Like Slow-mo rouse. You know, I love uh, depending on animals to do what we want them to, exactly when we want them to. Maybe if we turn around, pretend we're not looking. I got it. It's funny how different birds have different methods of flying. Like an eagle can just soar and maybe flap once a minute or something if it has to. But then a hummingbird, to stay where it is, needs to flap however many times it is a second. Yeah. Well, we filmed both on the Phantom. So why don't we go over to the screen and compare them? OK, so I've brought up, it's probably one of our very first shots of the day but supposedly the hummingbird beats its wings the most times in a real-time second on this clip. So what we'll do, we'll count the wing beats until it's displaying one second. <laughs> I like that we have to have that smaller unit of time. Yeah, I mean, you do. It's slow-mo footage. Okay, All right, ready? Count. One. That was two. Yeah, no, it's on three. This is three right now. That was three? This is three, yeah. OK. <laughs> no, this is four. Four. We might have to speed this up. All right, it's one second. 48. Well, eh, it's sort of 47 and a half, because it's oh, halfway. Sorry. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there we go. That's right, you're not getting all the credit. <laughs> Only 47 and a half? In one real-time second, that is really fast. It doesn't seem that amazing when you're watching it back in slow-mo. I mean, are you saying that our slow-mo made him less impressive? <laughs> yeah, we were like, you, yeah, exactly. God, how many flaps could you do in one second? Like three? Maybe. <laughs> to like make entire flaps. <laughs> <laughs> OK, this is good information, so now we know that. Why don't we now compare the footage to the footage of the hawk that we have? We'll have to speed this up to match the hawk. All right. Yep. That's two different worlds right there. Yeah. <laughs> It's kind of unfair because <laughs> the hummingbird is about the size of that one's beak. Yeah, you've got to remember that this is, is actually like this, this big. Also, they completely flap their wings in a different way. Like the hawk bends its wings halfway, and it would be kind of difficult. That one just has straight wings. The hummingbird just, just does this. It looks like he's getting lift on his backstroke, too. He whereas must this have one, to. He's, he doesn't have to worry about it. He's kind of just enjoying the glide. Both of those can fly, but they've got two completely different ways of doing it. I think we should learn a little bit more. All right. Hey, Peter, thanks for coming on. Hey, thanks for having me. Hello. It's great to be here. So with the hummingbird expert, so uh, I don't know much about birds, hoping you could enlighten us. Happy to more. do it. Yeah. So we've just counted 47 and a half wing beats per second. I think we should round him up. I think he got 40. Oh, he didn't deserve it. <laughs> all, right, all right. He didn't work hard enough for that. So is that average, or is it usually they get more? That's or? right about in the middle of the range. So normally between about 40 and 60 beat, uh, strokes per second. One other thing I noticed is that it seemed like they were getting lift on their forward flap and the, the back swing. Dude, they're right? the only birds to do that. The and only birds to do yeah, that? Yeah, and they do that because they're able to flip their hand over. It's basically their wrist going back and forth. So it's able to get lift in both directions, which is amazing. It still has the same stroke, forward and backwards, that another bird does, but it's flipping and able to get lift in both directions. They're the only bird I've seen where, in real time, I can't always see the wing. Because it just, it just looks like well, a bird. they have the fastest stroke of any animal. I also like the fact that it's named after what it sounds like. There's not many birds that are, you've got cuckoo, <laughs> hummingbird, eh, hummingbird, sure. I can't imagine how tiring it would be to be flapping your wings 
you know, 60 times a second, because I, you know, get on, get on the couch and I get hungry sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, they eat a lot. They eat half their body weight each day. They need a lot of energy. Their metabolism is just outrageous. It's the fastest metabolism of any creature or any animal. And they're smart. They can remember which flower they were at and which one had a lot of nectar and which one didn't. And they'll return to the better flowers. And they'll get territorial about that. They'll take their bill and use it as a little spear. Those guys stick you. Yeah, we saw in one of the clips there was a dive bomb going on and uh, the other bird had to hop out of the way pretty quick. So once it dive bombed it, I was just wondering why it was so territorial, because it seemed like there was loads of food. Yeah, there is loads of food, but it turns out there's sort of two ways you can go about being a hummingbird, right? You can stay in one place and protect your one source of food, or you can fly all over the place and visit like one or 2,000 flowers maybe. And it turns out it's cheaper to just stay in one place. You can <laughs> save 10 or 20% of their energy expenditure in a day by protecting a place instead of flying around. Sounds like British tourists on sun lounges. <laughs> yeah. I parked it. So even if they're flapping their wings, you know, 60 times a second, they're lazy. Because <laughs> <laughs> they can't be bothered to go to 2,000 flowers. Well, thanks very much for those uh, amazing facts. That, that was, was great. That was great, yeah. Thanks great a lot, to see you. Camera. Thank you. OK, so we've done a comparison between different bird wings, but we also filmed the eyelid of a golden eagle. And I'd be interested to see who blinks faster, the eagle or Daniel. Bit of a blinking competition going on. You ever been in one? I'm ready. They're brutal. This might be the easiest thing I've ever had to do for, for us. I usually ask a little bit more of you. But yeah. this one, all I need you to do is blink. Just stand there. OK, when are you ready for me to blink? You, you just did. Oh. <laughs> I got it. That was it. All right. The show's over, I guys. I feel like if I asked you to blink, you would do a very unnatural like... blink. So I just got a blink. OK, I'm just going to cue it up, and then we'll go and compare the speed to our eagle. All right. OK, we have them queued up right before the blink. Place your bets. Who's faster? I'm the fastest blink in the West. Yeah? So, yeah. OK, let's compare. You okay. ready? Yes. OK. Three, two, one, play. Oh, smashed me. Wow. Absolutely smashed me. And uh, I feel like you didn't, you barely completed the blink. Just finished. Your eyelids barely met. You were like mostly blinked. Yeah, I, I already started like half blinked and then mostly did it. That's ridiculous. Oh, it's just majestic, isn't it? I mean, yeah, the way that my eyebrows are just so bushy and nice. What? <laughs> Well, I've learned something. Hopefully you learned something too. Feel free to subscribe to the Slow Mo Guys and check out other episodes from Planet Slow Mo. If I had to eat every 15 seconds, I'd be so fat. <laughs>